She was involved in a ghastly accident and she suddenly found herself in 2093. What happened next is very shocking. Amelia and her boyfriend Mark were on their way to a party. But Amelia was in a bad mood because of an argument they were having. As Mark was driving recklessly, Amelia suddenly saw a pair of headlights coming towards them. Amelia screamed, but it was too late. The truck slammed into her side of the car. The impact was devastating. Amelia was thrown from the car and landed on the ground, dazed and disoriented. She felt a searing pain in her head, and she heard the sound of metal crunching and glass shattering. Amelia struggled to get up, but she was too weak. She lay on the ground as her body ached. She could see the flames coming out of the wreckage of the car. Amelia saw her boyfriend stumble out of the wreckage with just a scratch on his forehead. As she slowly lost consciousness, she was relieved to realize that Mark had just a scratch. Suddenly, Amelia felt a hand on her shoulder. She woke up and saw a paramedic flashing a bright light into her eyes. He told her to stay calm and that help was on the way. Amelia closed her eyes again and let the paramedic take care of her. Amelia woke up slowly, feeling like she was waking up from a deep sleep. She perceived the antiseptic smell of the hospital and heard the soft hum of the machines. She opened her eyes and saw a doctor standing over her. She tried to move, but she felt pain all over. It was as if her entire being was on fire. Blinking against the harsh hospital light, she struggled to focus her gaze. The doctor leaned over her, the features coming into view as her vision cleared. His eyes filled with a mix of relief and professional vigilance. The young doctor, Michael, asked Amelia if she could hear him. After she replied yes, he told her that she was in the hospital and that his name was Dr. Michael Brooks. He then asked her to tell him her name. Amelia croaked out her name in a barely audible voice. Dr. Brooks told Amelia that she was safe now. He told her that she had been in a car accident and that she was in the hospital for treatment. Amelia remembered the car accident. She remembered the blinding light, the screeching tires, and the shattering glass. She remembered the impact and how it felt like her body was jolted through the air. She started to panic, but Dr. Brooks's calm presence helped her to relax and she began to feel better. Amelia suddenly remembered Mark in a flash. She asked Dr. Brooks about him and he told her that her boyfriend was fully well and was waiting for her in the next room. But Amelia's vision slowly began to blur and her mind started to fade. Her eyelids got heavy and her mind became foggy. Dr. Brooks's face was the last thing she saw before she slowly blacked out. Time felt like it was stretching and shrinking as she lost consciousness and slipped into a coma. Amelia awoke in a world beyond her comprehension. She was standing in the middle of the street and dozens of robots buzzed around amidst walkers by. Skyscrapers so high she couldn't see the top pierce the sky. She felt confused and amazed as she explored this strange world. She had been transported to the year 2093. With wide-eyed wonder, Amelia navigated the unfamiliar terrain. She marveled at the robotic waiters in the restaurants and the hovering vehicles that zipped through the air. The streets were lit up with neon signs and holographic displays showed advertisements and images. People wore clothes that were strange with patterns and fabrics that she had never seen before. Amelia was deeply impressed by the fusion of nature and technology in this futuristic realm. Nevertheless, a sense of unease crept in. She began having very sharp pains all over. It began to feel like her whole body was on fire. She was in pain. She felt confused, lonely and lost all at once. Just then, she saw someone that made her heart skip. There, amidst the marvels of the future, stood Mark, her boyfriend. She was quite surprised, wondering what he was doing in the future. The memories of the accident then began piercing her thoughts. But you wouldn't believe what happened next. Mark raised a laser gun and fired at her. Fear surged through her veins as she sprinted away, the world around her blurring in a mix of confusion and terror. She breathed hard and fast while running. Everything around her looked fuzzy because she felt dizzy. The pain in her head intensified and she stumbled, collapsing to the ground. Blood began to seep from her forehead, staining the ground beneath her. In her disoriented state, a car screeched to a halt before her and the driver's door swung open. Her heart raced as the driver's face came into view. 
It was Dr. Brooks, the same doctor who had tended to her in the hospital. The doctor quickly helped her get into the car. He rested her on the passenger seat and began to drive to a faraway hospital. Dr. Brooks was really worried. He begged Amelia to hang on, to not give up. Despite his urgent pleas for her to keep fighting, Amelia remained trapped in her unconscious state, unable to wake up. Dr. Brooks raced through the streets. He was determined to save Amelia, but she was dying. No matter how fast he drove, it wasn't enough. Amelia's condition worsened, and her life eventually slipped away inside the car. The doctor pulled over to the side of the road and checked Amelia's vital signs. There was no pulse. She was gone. He felt a wave of grief wash over him. He had failed Amelia. He gently took her phone from her jacket and made the painful call to her family. As her family heard the news, they were devastated. Amelia's funeral was held a few days later. Dr. Brooks attended, along with Amelia's friends and family. It was indeed a heartbreaking scene. Amelia's lifeless body was lowered into the ground, surrounded by tearful loved ones. Amelia's spirit stood watching her own funeral. She saw Dr. Brooks standing before her casket, crying and looking heartbroken. Her lifeless body was being lowered into the ground, but Amelia's spirit wasn't ready to give up. She stepped forward and gently touched Dr. Brooks' shoulder. As he turned to her, she told him that she was not gone. Her words were like a beacon of light amidst the sadness. Dr. Brooks couldn't believe it. He told her that she was dead, but Amelia insisted that she was alive and asked Dr. Brooks to hold her hand. Dr. Brooks took her hand and Amelia closed her eyes. It was like their hearts and souls were connected. When Amelia opened her eyes, she found herself back in the present in the hospital room. Dr. Brooks was standing beside her bed, his eyes filled with tears of relief. With his voice trembling with emotion, he told her that she was finally awake. She had been in a coma for six months. Amelia smiled knowingly. She replied that she was back now. Her journey through time and consciousness had led her back to the present, surrounded by the familiar sights of 2023. She remembered everything now. The accident, the argument with her boyfriend, it all came rushing back. She had found out Mark had gotten her best friend pregnant. She had confronted him about it in the car on the way to the party when he had gotten angry and decided to make her quiet. Mark had taken a shortcut that led them onto a narrow, winding road through the woods. The road was dark and deserted, and Amelia was starting to feel uneasy. She had a bad feeling about this shortcut. She kept glancing at Mark, who was staring straight ahead. His face set in a grim expression. She knew he was angry, and she was worried about what he might do. He saw the truck coming and let it hit her side of the car. Amelia was devastated to realize that the person she loved had tried to kill her. Then she also remembered being in a coma and how Dr. Brooks had done his best to save her. She looked at the doctor with love and gratitude in her eyes. He had saved her life, both physically and emotionally. If not for him, she would have died in the coma or lived the rest of her life as a vegetable. Dr. Brooks was happy that Amelia had finally awoken. He had spent the last six months worried that she wouldn't wake up. After Amelia's explanation, the doctor finally understood why Mark only had minor injuries. He was shocked and disgusted by her boyfriend's actions. Dr. Brooks gently assured Amelia that he would make sure that her boyfriend was brought to justice. Mark was eventually put behind bars. As Amelia and Dr. Brooks spent more time together, they shared a deep understanding of each other. When Amelia was fully recovered, they began dating and a year later they got married. Amelia's journey into her own subconscious had brought them together and they now face the future hand in hand. What do you think about Amelia's journey? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.